Hi everyone, welcome to our live stream. Today we have Mr. Korean George who is here with us to share his story about how he was looking for a job and he could crack the interview and attain his goal. Hi Korean, good day to Hi. you. So um, let's begin by listening to a short intro about yourself. Okay, uh, I am Korean, Korean George. Uh, I'm from India, Kerala. And uh, currently I'm working in US as a data analyst. Uh, I did my B.Tech from India, then MBA also from India. Um, worked in India for eight years and uh, currently doing master's uh, along with my work in the U.S. Right. So currently you're working as a data analyst. So uh, what were you doing before and what was, uh, we would love to listen to your uh, career transition story. Huh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, currently I'm... Before uh, coming to US, I was working mainly as a in, as a sales analyst in India. So currently, you're working with um, US uh, in, US, in US, right? So if I'm going yeah. to ask you, what, uh, how is US job market? What, how, ha uh, what should you do to sustain in US job market? When I came to US, what I understood was that uh, I mean, this I need to upskill myself. So uh, when I came, I understood that I needed to upskill myself, and uh, I came to US in 2020 Jan. So after I came, one thing I understood was that uh, the U.S. job market is a little different from India. I mean, you need to have the particular skills that they are looking for. Uh, else, it's very difficult to get a job. Plus, uh, the relevant experience. The, when it comes to relevant experience, I, I was having that. But I was lacking the skills that they were asking for. So uh, I did grab my grad. Uh, sorry, I, I joined my master's, which is MS in uh, computer science. That definitely helped me to learn machine learning and all. But uh, along with that, I had taken a few courses from my director, uh, which uh, which actually helped me a lot in, especially when it came to interview, and uh, uh, of course in uh, helping uh, in learning uh, some courses in my masters. For example, I had a course of machine for course a machine learning course in as a part of my masters, and uh, the Python with data science course, which I had taken with the director, really helped me to clear that as well. Uh, at least uh, with, with re in with respect to U.S. job market, I can say that the if, if you are looking for a, if you are looking for the role of a data analyst, uh, the three must have skills that you should have with you would be uh, Python or R uh, with machine learning, then uh, Power BI and Tableau. Uh, if you can have uh, Hadoop, PySpark, uh, that would definitely help. That would be that would definitely add value. Uh, there is no doubt about it. Then uh, AWS is another thing which you can have uh, if you are looking for data analyst or data scientist role. Regarding in general U.S. job market, I would say that DevOps is a very hot skill in U.S. Uh, but I am not into DevOps, so I cannot comment more on that. But uh, with respect to data science, I think I have these are the main courses. Okay, all right. So basically, you're saying that you have to keep upskilling yourself if you have to sustain in U.S. job market. Yes, yes, you have to, you have to, up, up, you have to keep on updating yourself. So if uh, I see that Fair as for your profile, you were working in Australia as well, right? Yes. So if I'm going to compare Australia and uh, US, so uh, which which country do you prefer to work, and what are the important things, uh, important courses which you have to study if people are looking for that particular country? Uh Getting a, uh, uh, I would say that uh, I would prefer US uh, definitely because the opportunities in US, uh, there is no comparison between, with Australia. Uh, the, obviously, the economy is so huge over here. Uh, it's a twenty trillion dollar economy, so there is no comparison with Australia uh, in that sense. But having said that, uh, in US, the biggest challenge that uh, people like me who are not citizens or green cards, but that we face is getting the work authorization and getting getting the visa. Right. So that is a difficulty. Other than that, I would prefer US any day. Uh, with respect to skills, uh, yeah. with respect to skills, if you ask me, I would I don't know how to compare that because in Australia, uh, the skills they were looking for was very different. The, uh, the company where I worked, they were using mainly Excel and uh, uh, yeah, they were mainly using Excel, not, nothing beyond that. 
but in us definitely they are looking for power bi tableau excel so people consider excel as outdated here though i don't personally think so but uh, people over here they uh, consider excel as outdated and they look for people have with skills tableau and power bi skills and of course sql i forgot to mention sql when i was explaining about the skills yes of course sql so uh, if uh, lastly i would like to uh, you know um, uh, i need some uh, suggestions from you for people who are seeking to upskill themselves what would be your uh, suggestion or advice to those people out there um, my suggestion is that uh, my suggestion is that you know uh, if you are trying to upskill through edureka um, you should be you should do your assignments correctly because once you do the assignments that helps a lot and you should take uh, make use of the support system from edureka uh, then uh, of course you can i mean normally what happens is that uh, you might think like okay i can take this course again so why what is i mean we we all have uh, our own uh, we will be busy with our lives but still we should find time to do the assignments correctly and uh, not talk, not keep it for later like don't think like okay we'll take the course starting next month i mean this happened with me a lot so once i decided that this student that helped me so this is one suggestion make use of edureka support system and do the assignments correctly so how do you feel now after uh, you know searching for a job you wanted to achieve something you upskilled yourself and still uh, upskilling i would say so how do you feel now after getting uh, the role which you have uh, uh you know waited for uh, i i feel uh, really happy and uh, i mean i'm thankful to god then uh, thankful to my professors at university then of course i'm thankful to you people who did did you like i mean it, it really helped I mean, it's, you know, i'm not uh, saying this just for just like that i mean it really helped it, the professors at edu like really helped me in finding a job especially during the interviews right right Thank you so much, uh, Korean. Uh, so thanks for your time. Thank you for sharing the insights with yeah. us. So I'm sure uh, the people who are watching this and who are looking for jobs in US uh, uh, job markets, I'm sure you have shared some insights to them as yeah. well. Yeah. Thank, thank, thanks for giving me opportunities. Yeah. Thank you.